Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a Python script that will back up the configurations of my Fortinet firewall at home. This is the setup at home that I have. I am sitting on my laptop right here, it's connected to the firewall through the internal ports and then my firewall is connected to a switch and right here I have I have a Linux machine, it's running Elasticsearch, it's grabbing all the syslogs uh, from my firewall. Uh, but I want to use this machine as well to, to save the configurations of my firewall through a Python script. So the Python script will sit here, it will SSH to the firewall, grabs the configurations and then it will save them back uh, on a file on this machine. So this machine is right here and I made uh, two directories. One is called Fortigate Backups but my backups will sit here and another one called scripts and my scripts will be here right now I don't have the script so I'll create the script under home scripts and I'll call it firewall backup dot pi the python script and for the python script I want to use the netmeco netmeco library it is used to uh, do SSH connections to network devices. Um, the supported platforms are many, Cisco, HP, Fortinet, one of them, Juniper and uh, others. I'm going to use it for a Fortinet firewall. This is what I have um, right here at home. It's a Fortigate 61E, so I will create it right here. So I will import NetMeco, but um, I'm not going to import the whole library, so I'm going to import what I need, which is um, it's a class called connect handler. Okay, and after that, I will just copy here. I tested this script. I will copy this dictionary object. I call it my underscore firewall. It has these um, key value pairs, uh, the host name, the device type, it's Fortinet, here's where you change if you have a Cisco, iOS device, Juniper, HP, you change it here, the IP address of the device, the username, backup underscore user, and the password is just password, this is uh, not very safe, but just for the example here. And this is my firewall right here, under administrators. I created this backup user, backup underscore user, uh, the password is the same and um, it's only a read only um, admin. I don't need any write uh, privileges. So after I create this dictionary object, I can, if I have more devices, I can create more devices, set their IP addresses here, uh, their usernames and passwords for the backup. You can, you can use methods to get the password so you don't have to type it in the script, but just, just uh, simply to make it work. After that, I will create an object, a connect handler object, and I will pass in my dictionary. And I will save this object to, I'll call it net connect. This is, uh, the same as the example on the NetMeco um, documentation. So just simply use the same uh, examples, just make it work for your environment. And then after that, I will run a command, which is, or this method is called send underscore command on this net connect object that we created here. And we can send the actual command that we type in the CLI prompt of the device. In this case, show full dash configuration of the for the Fortinet device. This is the same as show running config on a Cisco device. And then we want to save it to this variable called output. And then after we have this output, I want to open a file or create a file um, so that this output is saved to that file. In Python, we use with open and 
I will just copy here from here with open and I will save it under the string literal home for the git backups uh, we'll close this and I will save it as um, I will grab the device I can just type in this name but if I have more devices I want to make it more usable so I will say this dictionary object of of the host key which will give me this value and I will make it a string because I'm concatenating with the other string uh, I'll say plus maybe an underscore uh, plus I want to put uh, the date I want to when I save uh, the configurations I want to put the date beside this file name so for that I want to import another thing uh, which is the date time module and the date time module I'll show you what outputs this is the Python IDE import date time if I run date time dot date time dot today it will give me this object so it's 2020 August 18 1 p.m. 8 minutes 14 seconds and parts of the second but if I I want to format it uh, uh, more so I can read it I can use this method string format time and I have to pass in this format percentage capital Y dash or maybe underscore percentage month underscore percentage day and if I run that I will get this format 2020 08 which August 18 or maybe I can um, I think it's a D right here uh, no I think it's a B sorry for the month if you want it to be in this format so I'll just use this format actually date time or date time and I'll just create here a variable called current time equal I'll just copy that date time dot date time dot today and format it with this uh, form year underscore month underscore day and I will put that no I'll put that right here string of current time and I have to add dot cfg this is what the configuration file is and I'll close that the open oh and to write the file to write on the file we have to pass in the W at the end of the open uh, function and to deal with it or to work with it in Python we have to open it as a file object I'll just call it F colon and then four spaces or a tab and I want to write on this file object um, I want to write this output right here so I want to loop through every line for line and output for loop two, three four one two three four two tabs and I want to write use this method to write on this file object every line so we're looping we're looping through the output through every line and then we are writing it to this file object and here it is just import whatever you need um, establish SSH, conne SSH connection to the device run or send this command which is here and then this is just extra for the format and then open a file and pass in W to write to that file and then loop through the output which is right here and 
for every line that output write it to the file object and then when the output is all written uh, the open function will close that file uh, so you don't have to say open and close or just use the with um, keyboard and then it we will have the configuration file so we are in nano so control x to exit yes to save or press y only and then enter and now we want to run this script firewall back oh backup i'll rename it later and if we don't have any errors that means the script worked it should work i tested it before uh, i can run more i can add more things to this script to say this is the start time of the script this is the end time and see how long it took i can uh, maybe grab the size of the configuration file to print it right here but i can check that after it runs looks like it's going good now any second now okay looks like it worked uh ls minus l home port gate backups okay and we have the file right here so the name of the device underscore the date 2020 august 18 and then dot cfg let's let's check the file 48 and this is the file um, i'm using more and i can press space so every backup of the firewall it starts with this line and this is the rest of the file I'm still only at one percent just quit from here and here it is i'll just open this again home script firewall look underscore back or backup and uh, this is simply the bash script using netmiko show full configuration save it to a file that's it i can do that for my maybe my switch i'll do that for other things um or maybe the access point configurations i'll try that i have a rube access points i have an hp switch maybe i'll try that or maybe next one next video i will try to schedule this um this script to run on a daily basis maybe at 6 p.m or at 10 p.m or 12 a.m i will do that in another video thank you guys for watching